Happy Sunday, guys. Tops85401 here. And I do have a one-package mail day. It's a Barry Bonds pickup, and I'm debating on whether to count this particular baseball card or this pickup. God, that glare from that Mickey Mantle. Here's what it, That's what's always glaring, guys, that, that picture of Mickey Mantle. But for some reason, if I sit at the wrong angle, it's just horrible glare. So let me move over here. Anyways... This one pickup is a Barry Bonds card, but I'm debating on whether or not to add it as a unique item in the collection. So let me show you what I picked up. This is a Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonds, dual autograph card from 1993 Bowman. And it's not a PAC certified autograph. This was post-production autographed by both Barry and Bobby Bonds. Really cool card. Love this card. I can't think of any other card off the top of my, off the top of my mind, top of my brain. I can't, what's that phrase, guys? Comment down below. Anyways, I can't think of any card where Barry and Bobby both signed it that is a certified autograph. So there we go. That, that, so there's that card. The reason why I don't consider this a unique item is because I do have a copy of this card that's not signed, of course. But what's cool and what really intrigued me about that card is this certificate of authenticity. First of all, it's autographed by Barry Bonds. So that's two autos for the price of one, right, guys? But listen what the certificate says. It says, the hand-signed Barry Bonds memorabilia, which is the subject of their certificate of authenticity, comes from the personal collection of Barry Bonds. The personal collection, guys. That's pretty cool. The items contained in the Barry Bonds Clubhouse collection are protected by authentication technology. So people that collect Bonds know that he that he saved a lot, or pretty much all his stuff after like around 500 home runs. Kept it, didn't sell it, didn't give it to anybody. And when he does sell it off, they, those items come with a, this particular certificate of authenticity. Or if there's anything else that he signs post-2005, it'll come with a certificate of authenticity like this. This particular item was signed at a show. It's the uh, GTSM Autograph Show, September 27th, 2014, in Santa Clara, California. So there we go. Just a cool item, guys. Just a cool, cool, cool item. It's very, very intriguing. It's kind of fun to add items like this into the collection. Kind of that unique piece. I've talked I've talked about this with Schmitty quite a bit. He's got a lot of unique items in his collection. And also, this, whoa, this pickup reminds me a lot of some of the items that you'll find in Carter's Kids collection, um, a.k.a. Steve where he bought <clears throat> cards that belonged to Gary Carter. So just very intriguing, really cool piece. Glad to have it in my collection. It didn't cost an arm and a leg. However, it wasn't cheap either. I think it was appropriately priced for what I got it for. But just glad to have it. Very proud of it. And that is the pickup tonight. So guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And as always... Happy collecting. Whoa, that glare. Hmm. Just want to give you guys one more good view. But the glare, the glare, the glare.